All right, BFIT Nation. Welcome back to a Monday, Motivation Monday, to get your week started nice and strong. Today, we have something a little different for you, but go ahead and get settled in. Grab any resistance you may have, uh, have around the house or around your area. Grab some water, grab your towel. Let's get settled in and let's get ready to put in some work this Monday. But before you do, I'd like to welcome my guest, Senior Mass Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing, ma'am? Hi, good morning. I'm doing well. I'm excited for the workout today. Trying to get back into the groove after you know, the holidays and stuff. So, Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. I'm so glad you are here with me today to help keep myself accountable, to help push through on those movements where we know we can get a little bit more out of each other. So welcome back, Senior Master Sergeant Barry. So today we have, uh, well, first off, I hope everyone had a great weekend. I hope everyone had a great start to the year. I know last week was our full first week of the year. So I know times can get challenging and I know workouts can be difficult, especially if this was your first week back to a structured regimen. Um, continue to keep pushing. I know everything that whenever we start something new, it can be a little challenging at times. So great on you for continuing to push through last week. And this week is no exception. We're going to push through even harder. We're going to continue to build on the progress that we are striving for, for 2021. So today's workout, if, if you're new to the channel, excuse me, if you're new to the channel, welcome to BFIT Live. Okay. So BFIT Live, we have our exchange BFIT program here. And we are, we have programmed a, a less than 30 minute workout for you to get your week started. We have four exercises that we are going to tackle today. And our timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute of rest in between each round. And we have four rounds to work through to finish the workout. Okay. So with the new year, we thought we'd introduce some essential products that you can find at your exchange, in store at your local exchange or online at shopmyexchange.com. And this workout, if you have bands available to you, we are working off of resistance bands. So this is gonna be a resistance banded focused workout for today, okay? So these movements can be completed with a band or without. However, if you have bands, feel free and join us with this added resistance, okay? so. Uh, I'm using Skills mini bands today. All right, Skills has a light, a medium, and a heavy weight, a heavy weighted band that can be utilized for added resistance as you go through your workouts, as you get stronger, or as you need to regress and scale back. Again, three different bands are available for you today. So what's great about bands is they're a little different from your kettlebell, your dumbbells, uh, things that we've been using. So it's allowing you to add resistance on both the eccentric and concentric, concentric movement, okay? So uh, your, your downward movement, your upward movement, your in, your out. So we'll be focusing a lot on resistance bands for today. It's a nice, easy, low uh, compact, a low impact movement for you to dial in and get some resistance going for those muscle groups, okay? So programming for today, again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds and one minute rest in between each round. Let us know where you're watching from. Welcome. Drop a comment and uh, drop a note in the comments below. Again, let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to see where everyone is joining us from to stay active, to stay healthy, and to kick off this new year nice and strong. We will go through, um, I'll go through the uh, exercises for today, and then we will jump into some dynamic stretching to get our minds and our bodies ready to work, and then we will get to work, all right? So our first exercise with resistance bands is always gonna be an in and out quad stretch. I'm sorry, an in and out squats. So we are gonna take our band, if we have, if we don't, let's just go into the movement and um, without the band. But if you have a band, we're going to go ahead and strap this on, pull this up right above the knee, okay? Our feet are gonna be shoulder width apart here, soft bend at the knees. We are going to step out to the right, to shoulder width apart here, down into a squat, lowering those hips to your comfort level or right at your knee height. Extend up through those heels, driving those hips forward, and then back to center, okay? Then we're gonna slide over to our left, 
Again, dropping those hips down, chest is up, nice and proud. Back is going to be in a flat position, extending up, right side, and then left side. So that's gonna be our in and outs for the first exercise, right side, and then left side. All right, exercise number two, we are going into a banded um, back squeeze row, okay? So we are going to hold our band. All right, you see how my band is holding with my hands here. So we're gonna hold here into a shoulder width height. Hands are going to be shoulder width apart here. We are going to squeeze, bringing our elbows in nice and tight here, squeezing those shoulder blades together. We're gonna hold for a two count, one, two, and then extend it back out. Try to keep tension on that band as you have it extended all the way out to you. And then as you bring it in to your chest level, squeezing that back, those elbows should be aiming towards that back wall or towards the rear here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, activate those shoulders. You're gonna feel a little bit of work in your thighs and tries, so your full arms, as well as your mid to upper back, your traps, and that's going to really isolate, again, your back and your upper um, traps. So exercise number three, we are going to go down again. We're up on top here into a low squat with foot taps, okay? So our band is going to be placed over our knee here. Again, just right above the knee. We are down into a low squat position. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, soft bend at the knees. We are dropping those hips down to our comfort level, wherever that may be. Okay, wherever, let's just find where that comfort level is. Our knees are gonna be tracking right over our toes here, not too far forward. If they're too far forward, we want to sit back, sit, sit those hips back, okay? All right, soft bend of the knees. We're down into that low squat and we are gonna tap to the left and tap to the right, okay? So we're gonna be hitting those abductors here, the sides of your hips, the sides of your quads, your glutes. And you should feel that isolation again, lower body work here, your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, abductors. All right, that's a low squat foot tap. That's gonna be exercise number three. Exercise number four, take this one slow here. All right, this is gonna be a slow and controlled movement. I know we've done these before without the band, but today we're gonna to add a little bit of resistance for some lower body activity here. So we are gonna drop down onto the floor here with banded bicycles, okay? So our feet are gonna be about six inches off the floor. Hands can be on the floor under your glutes, behind your head. We are going to bring that left knee to our right elbow and then our right knee to our left elbow here with the band on our toes, on that top part of your foot. Again, bringing that band and those knees to the left and to the right for those bicycles. Now, if you do not have a band or if you choose not to, let's go ahead and do regular bands with our regular bicycles without the band here. Okay, that's gonna be exercise number four. All right, how does that sound? <laughs> Today's all about band work for us today. All right, let's towel off, let's grab some water, stay hydrated during this workout. Let me go ahead and get things going here with some dynamic stretching. Again, let us know where you're joining from. Let us know if you are using bands today or not. But again, bands are pretty essential and a great tool to use whenever you uh, kind of want to mix up your routine here. If you don't have dumbbells, if you want something a little more low impact, that's what we're hitting today. But we are going to feel the burn here as I try and catch my breath already. <laughs> so <laughs> let me grab some water here and we will jump into some dynamic stretching to get our bodies re ready and primed to work here. Mm. All right here. Okay, dynamic stretching. Let's go ahead and start off with a dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take that right leg, extend it back here. We're gonna take our left arm, reach all the way up as tall as we can here, pushing those hips forward, feeling that stretch in your quad, in your hip flexors, your psoas area. Good. We're gonna do the, each of these exercises for about 30 seconds each. Go ahead and alternate legs and arms as quickly or as slowly as you would like at your pace here.
Take time to focus on your breathing. Good, good. Scan that body. See where things may be tight for you this morning. Starting the week off, just a few more here. And we are gonna jump into a reverse lunge with an overhead reach. Standing at the top here, extending into a reverse lunge, dropping down, bringing those hands together, extending up overhead and reaching over to the side. All right, you can feel again, getting some movement, some mobility into our lower body here, feeling that side stretch in our lats, the side of your body, hands overhead, getting some blood flow to our shoulders. About two more here. Nice. One more here, just because we are a little tight. I know I've been sitting a lot lately. Good. All right, let's go into inchworms, okay? We're gonna stand at the back of our mat here. We're gonna reach down to our toes, feet are shoulder width apart, soft bend to the knees, drop down to our toes, touch your toes, walk your hands all the way out and your body into a high plank position. Pause there for a one, two count, and then return back to your toes, touch your toes, extend all the way up, stand tall, deep breath, and then back down, touching your toes back out into our inchworm. All right, back into a high plank position. Hold for a pause, warm up, warm up that core. Good, warm up those hips, a stretch in your hamstrings, guide yourself back down, rolling back out into a plank. Good, high plank here, pause. Nice stretch here, one more here at your own pace. Good, <laughs> all right. Tracking back down and back up. All right, let's go into some YTWs here just for the shoulder mobility and activating, getting some blood flow into our shoulders here. So just like it sounds, YTW, we're gonna bring our hands to center here with a nice strong stance, feet shoulder width apart. Here's our center. We're gonna go ahead and make a big Y with our hands, stretching as far out as we can. Good, back to center here. Gonna make a big T, squeezing, one, two, back to center, and a W with those arms, squeezing those shoulder blades together, back to center. Let's go ahead back into that Y, extending out a little further this time. Good, back to T, left and right, stretching, stretching, left and right, good. And then back to our W here. Let's go one more rep with all three of these. Y, good. Big T, stretch, stretch, stretch. And a big O, W to show off those biceps. Good. All right, team, we are warmed, we are ready. Our minds and bodies are ready to go. So we are going to start with a, um, <laughs> our resistance band. Go ahead, this way. go ahead this way. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our resisted band focused workout, okay? Grab water, grab some towel, towel off and we will get started. All right, if you have a band, place it right above your knees. Let me go ahead and set my timer. Again, we have four rounds at 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round, and we have four rounds to tackle. All right, bands are right above the knee here. In and out squats are going to start in nine. Ugh. Grab your resistance of choice. Bands are not needed. However, we encourage it today. All right, 40 seconds of work on the clock. We are down, squatting to the right, back to center. Squatting to the left, back to center. Making sure those knees are tracking over our toes. If they are too far above our toes, we wanna drop those hips back a little further. Okay, keeping that back flat. Less than 20 seconds left on the clock here. Always keep tension. You wanna keep tension on that band here. 10 more seconds. Eight. Last five. Three, two, one. 
Good, 40 seconds are in. Let's quickly remove the bands from our legs. And we are gonna stand nice and tall, stand or kneel or sit. Any one of these can be performed. Okay, remember we have a nice squeeze for that row with the back squeeze. Two, one, 40 seconds on the clock. All right, team, let's work. Band, shoulder width apart. Squeezing that band back, <clears throat> elbows to the rear. One, two, extend back. Good. Again, you should feel this in your shoulder blades squeezing together. One, two, sending up top. <clears throat> Good work, nice and controlled. Thing about bands is the more controlled, the more slow tempo you're going, the more resistance you have, the more you will feel this movement. In three, two, one, time. 20 seconds of rest right now, and we will jump into our low squat with foot taps. <laughs> All right, eight seconds on the clock here. We are up in five. Remember, we're going on to that low squat and we're tapping to the left and tapping to the right. 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go here. All right, hold that low squat. Again, to your comfort level. If you can get, drop down into that deep squat here, now would be a great time. But even if you're a little higher, that's okay. We have resistance. You're gonna feel this on your abductors here, outside of your thighs, outside of your glutes. 15 seconds on the clock. Keep that chest up. Keep that head facing forward. Eight more seconds here. Five, three, two, one. Time, good work team, good work. Remove those bands, we have bicycles up next. So we are gonna drop those bands onto our toes here. As I struggle, like you are maybe, three seconds on the clock, 40 seconds, here we go. Remember those bands are on the top of your feet here driving that knee towards your elbow here, rotating that head to the left and to the right. Good, 20 seconds on. Make sure to breathe, keeping that core tight. Engage those abs here. Last 10. Out in five. Three, two, one time. <laughs> Be fit nation. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Yes, yes, I have a few thumbs up. <laughs> First round is in the books. Good work. Grab water, towel off. I'm going to do the same. The great thing about, <laughs> about this is we're chasing uh, the time, we're chasing the clock. Uh, you know, there's no need to count your reps here. So it's all about isolation. It's all about a, a slower tempo today, using resistance to really fulfill that uh, muscular endurance here. All right, 20 seconds of rest here, and we are jumping back into the in and out squats. Hmm. All right, we are up in five, okay? Bands just over our knees. Let's get ready, team, in three, two, one. All right, team, we're working in and out squats. To the right, squat, back to center. To the left, back to center. Try to keep resistance on that band at all times. All right, feet should come back at shoulder width apart and then extend to that wide squat, okay? Good work. 10 more seconds left. Keep that chest up. Hips are pushing back towards the wall. Out in five, three, two, one. Awesome job, awesome job. All right. We are back up top to work on some upper body strength with that back squeeze and a row. All right, team, here we go. Grabbing the left and right side of our band in two, 
One, here we go. Shoulder width apart, keep that tension on the band, squeezing those shoulder blades back. Those elbows should be hitting at a 45 degree angle. When you pull in, good. Pause for two seconds. Good work. Good job, how's that feeling? Again, if you do not have a band, if you have dumbbells lying around, let's go ahead and bend over to our usual bent over row here. Okay, if we don't have any dumbbells, let's go ahead and grab a water bottle. Two, one, time. 20 seconds of rest here and we will jump into that low squat with foot tap. All right, bands again, back on our legs, back just above our knee. All right, team, we are strapped in in three, two, one, down into our low squat position to our comfort level, tapping to the left, tapping to the right. All right, just a little tap. Good. Keeping that tension on the band, keeping that back flat. Key movement here with any lower lower work here. We want to keep that spine and that head aligned here. 15 more seconds left. So try not to look down. There's no alignment there. Try not to look up. Or left or right. We want that spinal alignment here from our head to our neck, down to our spine. Last three, two, one. Good. All right, team, we are back on the ground for banded bicycles to finish out our second round here. <laughs> All right, the fun thing about bands here, they challenge you in ways that you didn't know you had in you here. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go ahead and work here. Again, keeping that foot dorsi flex, keeping that foot flexed here. Bands are on the top portion of your foot, bringing that knee, driving it up to your elbow, keeping that core tight. Good, squeezing at the top or upping the tempo. I find that the slower, the more controlled, the better my band will move on my feet here. Last five, three, two, last rep, time. <laughs> awesome work. How are we feeling, BFit Nation? Two rounds are in the books already. Good work. Awesome job. How are we liking band work so far? Let me know. We have 40 seconds of rest here and then we will jump into round number three. First two rounds, we've learned it definitely. So this is the time, round three and four, to scale up, to bring up that tempo, to lower that squat position just a little bit more, to pause just a little bit longer. Set off one or two counts, give yourself three or four counts when you squeeze. All right, 15 seconds of rest here and we will jump into in and out squats. Let's go ahead and get ready. All right, that band is hitting just above your knee. We are back up in five, four, three, two, one, and we are up squatting in and out squats here. Left side, right side, back to center. Good, keeping that tension on the band. Ah, feeling the burn, feeling the burn. That must mean it's working. <laughs> 20 seconds left here. I like to keep my hands in front of me. Feel free, if you want your hands off to the side, you can put your hands out in front of you. you put your hands behind your head. Last three, two, one. Good job, awesome work, BFIT Nation, good job. 15 seconds of rest on the clock and we are jumping into that back squeeze. All right, we are up in five, time is flying by. Two, one, let's work, let's work. Squeezing that tempo here, squeezing that band, keeping tension on that band. Should feel that activation in your shoulders. Good, squeezing that band, bring it to your chest, pausing at the back end, 
Bring those shoulder blades together, chest up nice and proud. We can do this seated or kneeling. 13 more seconds here. Good job, keep it up. Last five, squeeze a little longer. Last three, hold it, two, one. Good, relax, relax, relax. Shake it off, shake it off. All right, good job team, good job. Lower squat foot taps are up next, round three. Almost done with round three, we are up in five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're setting down into that lower squat position to our comfort level. Again, tapping left side, right side. Keeping that tension on the band here. Good work, keeping that chest up nice and proud. Your gaze should be straight ahead here. Good, halfway there. Feel that burn in your abductors here, side of your glutes, hamstrings, quads in that lower squat. Last five, sit a little lower. Three, two, one, time. Woo, shake that one off. That one got me. <laughs> Bicycles up next in 10. Awesome job, keep it up team, keep it up. All right, we are back up in three, two, one. All right, let's drive. Good job, driving that knee to that elbow. Make sure and get that rotation in. Your head should be following with that rotation. If you don't have a band, let's go ahead and do the same movements, but without the band. Last 10 here. Good, almost there. We are out in five, keep it up. Last reps, three, two, one, good. Hydration, you've earned yourself one minute of rest and one more round to go. Good job, team. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Drop a note in the comments. Let me know how you're doing. Have you worked out with resistance bands before? Again, if you're just joining us, it's BFIT Live. We are working out with a resistance focused band work today. I picked up some skills, mini bands <clears throat> at shopmyexchange.com. Check out our sporting goods and outdoor sports department. Hit that link either in store or online. But we are working out with mini bands today. So thank you, Skills. 15 seconds of rest here. 10 more seconds, and we are jumping into that in and out squat. Last round. Our last round. We're going to make it our best round, aren't we? All right, team, let's work here. In and out squats. Right side, back to shoulder width apart here. Left side, inside shoulder width. Keeping that band right above the knee. Keeping that back flat, head and chest are going to be up. 20 more seconds here. Let's go ahead and raise that tempo just a little bit for this last round. 10 more seconds. Good, squeeze out during that squat. Three, two, one, time. Good job team, good job. Let's remove real quick. We're gonna go back into the last time of that back squeeze, that row back squeeze. All right, we're gonna take a nice strong stance here. Hands shoulder width apart, keeping that tension, keeping that tension on the band here for two, one. All right, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's bring those elbows back, squeezing those shoulder blades together, keeping that tension on the band here. Squeeze, one, two, three, and back out, extend back out. Squeeze, one, two, three, good. 20 seconds left, make the most of that row here, keeping that chest up nice and proud, bringing those shoulder blades together, squeezing those biceps. You're gonna feel this in your arms, your shoulders biceps, your mid to upper back, your traps, last five, last three, hold it for three, 
two, one, time. Good job. Good work, team. Good work. Back on our lower body here for our last low squat foot taps. All right, keep that low hold squat. And we are tapping left and right. In three, two, one, down into that low squat position. Tapping left side, right side. Good, back to center. All right, feet are shoulder width apart here, dropping down to your comfort level. Notice how my back is flat. Try not to lean forward here, keeping that chest up, All right? 20 seconds left. Good. Feeling that burn. Quads are burning. Abductors are on fire. 10 seconds left here. Glutes are on fire. Last five. Three, two, one. Good job, team. Remove those bands from your knees. You're not going to see that one again. Let's drop down into our last exercise programmed for today. Bicycles on the top of our feet here. Let's get settled in on deck. In three, two, one. Here we go, team. Feet are six inches above the floor. Driving that knee up to our elbow. Pausing at the top for one count. Good. Transitioning over. Alternating left knee, right knee. Left elbow to right elbow. And to right leg. <laughs> 20 seconds left here, team. Good work, last 15 here. You've got it. Good. These bands are getting a workout. In five, we're almost there. Last three, two, one, last rep, and time. <laughs> Shake it out. Peel yourself off the floor. Peel these bands from us. Nice work today, team. Well done. If you've used resistance before, ah, let me know how that workout was for you. As we catch our breath here, ah, Sergeant Barry, how are you doing, ma'am? You looked fantastic during this workout. Thank you, Roy. No, I love the bands. I especially love because they're really versatile. And they're good for like a travel mate too, right? So. <laughs> Absolutely. I, what, what's great. Of, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You've nailed it. Uh, just so portable. The portability on these, if, if you are traveling, if you are at home or away from home, or if you are on the go, this is a quick tool to add to your arsenal of equipment that you may have available to you that can really just amp up more than a lower or body weight workout here. So adding this little bit of resistance targets, just those different muscle fibers that you are working within a lower body squat or a back squeeze, you know what I mean? So just adding this to your workouts can be very beneficial for you in the long run. You know, you're, you're building up that strength and that endurance with resistance bands. So absolutely. Team, I hope we did well today. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Let us know how you're doing. Again, if this was your first time watching BeFit Live, we are here every Mondays, unless it's a holiday like next week. <laughs> we will push it to a Wednesday. But again, every Mondays, we're here at 11 Central Standard Time for you. This is a time for us to dial in, to strengthen ourselves, to make ourselves feel and just be stronger week by week. Okay. So um any uh any last words from you sergeant barry i know uh this was a, a different workout for us but definitely a strengthened uh, strengthening workout no just as always I, I appreciate um the camaraderie and um having this available for us so thank you yes ma'am absolutely and again i was using the skills mini band so if you are in store or visit shopmyexchange.com you can find this available to you directly shipped to your doorstep that way next monday if you feel that a dumbbell or a kettlebell or any type of resistance or next workout um, is is just a little too much go ahead and add in these resistance bands for your comfort level just to challenge you a little bit more than your body weight or 
your squeezes or just um, versus nothing at all. So again, a really great tool here that we are using for today's workout, focused workout. On that note, um, we enjoyed having you today. I hope you enjoyed our programmed resistance band workout. Stay safe and have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and we will see you on the next Be Fit Live. Roy signing out.